Hey guys, Chef R here. So today we talked about New, New Year's resolutions and, and lots of you had uh, some really good ones. I, I, I saw and read, uh, I want better grades, I want to be a better self. Um, some of you, just like me, said I want to, uh, I want to eat better, I want to eat healthier. So um, we're going to combine those resolutions with uh, some cooking methods. So I'm going to show you some different cooking methods that can uh, get you where you need to go as far as um, creating better habits for food. So the first thing, um, I'm just I'm cooking dinner tonight. Uh, I have some green squash here, or zucchini, I got some yellow squash, and then I have some uh, some beef tenderloin or filet, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be a pretty simple dinner. So the first thing I do is I'm gonna cut the zucchini and squash. Now, I have my Sentuku knife here, right? If you guys remember, Asian style or Japanese style knife with the, the blade going down like this. And it has those bevels so that food won't stick to the, to the knife. So I'm just gonna, Start cutting this zucchini. And what I'm gonna do, since I'm sauteing it, is I'm gonna cut it in half. And then what I'm gonna do is just create some little half moons here. So I'm doing like uh, I don't know, quarter inch slices here. Now saute means to jump in French. So this is gonna be a pan, if you look behind, I've got a saute pan that's already on a heat and I got another pan, a cast iron pan to do the steak. So the main thing I'm looking to do here is make sure that I keep the zucchini and squash all the same size, all the same size. If they're bigger or smaller, then while you're sauteing, you can have zucchini that's done and while the other, the other zucchini is raw. We don't want that. So I'm gonna quickly go through this. Uh, I like cooking with uh, zucchini and squash. It has a lot of nutrients. It's really good for you. Uh, that's also relatively quick to cook. We don't have to uh, spend a lot of time with this. So once we get this cooked or cut, excuse me, we're gonna go to and talk about the steak. All right, so now I got my squash. Again here, I'm just cutting it in half to make it more manageable. And then I can cut it in half again. Cutting the same size. Now it could be a little bit longer, but the thickness here is going to be really important. All right, so one of the things that I'm going to do, or so, one of the several things I'm going to do to keep this healthier is, number one, I'm going to saute it in olive oil. So olive oil is a really good oil. It has lots of good nutrients. It has the good, the good fats that can keep you healthy. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I think this is plenty. If I do more, I'm afraid that it's gonna it's gonna overcrowd the pan. So next, we're gonna take a look at our, our beef. So the beef here, I marinated earlier today. Uh, pretty simple. I marinated it in uh, Worcestershire, salt, pepper, garlic. All right, and you can see what I'm doing here is I'm putting it on a paper towel. You can see a little bit of the liquid from the marinade, maybe from the salt, kind of pulled out some of that liquid. What I'm doing here is I'm blotting this dry. So when I go to sear this, right? So we're gonna sear the steak and then we're gonna roast it, finish it in the oven. All right, so the first, first cooking method we're gonna do is searing. All right, so I really wanna make sure this is dry. If the liquid stays on there and I go to sear, what will happen is you see lots of liquid come up and the pan will get wet, and then we won't get the proper browning. So we want this to be nice and brown when we go to sear it. So one of the things I do that's a little bit different than maybe most is I like to oil the meat versus oil the pan, all right? I get a better sear with that, and I get less, less of the oil breakdown when I go to cook later. So I'm gonna oil both sides, All right, so I got both sides oil. I'm gonna season it. Salt and pepper. All right, we'll salt, we'll salt and pepper the other side once we get it in the pan. All right, because both sides need to be seasoned because we want both sides to taste good. All right, so we're gonna come over here. All right, so I have my pan here, cast iron pan. 
I've got it on like a medium high heat. We can tell from past experience, right? If we see, so you can see a little smoky wisps kind of come on. But I put a little bit of oil in that pan, which I don't need to do. It starts to smoke right away. So for searing purposes, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna just drop this steak right in the pan. So the first process is steering. All right, you see lots of steam come up, lots of smoke. All right, you can tell. All right, if you start to pull it, pull it up and it starts to stick, just leave it there. All right, the protein needs to coagulate, tighten up, and when it does that, it'll release from the pan. So with the amount of oil we have, all right, so here you can see really quick, all right, we're getting lots of caramelization here. Now, in our exit ticket, we talked about, all right, so this is still pulling, so I don't want to... I don't want to try to rip it off. I'm just going to let it cook. The actual ticket, we talked about why we cook food, right? And there's three different reasons why we cook food are for flavor, for palatability, right? Just kind of the chew, and then for food safety. Now, once this steak is seared, it's cooked. And at this point, all we have to do is cook it to our desired doneness. All right, so you can see I let it go a second. I'll let it sear on the other side. Now we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna go medium rare on this, so I'm thinking about five or six minutes. We're gonna go right in the oven and we're gonna we're gonna finish it off by roasting. Alright, which leads us to our saute pan. Alright, so if you take a look at the pan, you'll notice that the pan is flat bottom and has slope sides. And it has one handle. Alright, that way when I go to move it or to jump, I can easily do that. So we're gonna turn this up a little bit more. I don't... All right, so here I'm just putting my hand here to kind of feel the, the convection of that heat. I wanna, all right, the best way to test it, all right, is we can use a little bit of oil, all right, just like we did before. Now, if it doesn't, here we see we got some smoke. All right, so we're good. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. It's got a little bit more smoke than I wanted, but it wasn't hot enough. And now it's plenty hot. So when we put this in, we should hear a... All right. I'm gonna do this in batches because I think this is too much for the salt pan. All right, so the rule of thumb when we saute is hot pan, cold oil. Remember that rule, hot pan, cold oil. So I got my pan hot first, then I added my oil. You don't wanna put the pan on, fill the pan with oil, and then start to turn it up because every oil has what's called a smoke point. So when we're sauteing, we're sauteing around 350 degrees. So what we need to do, and this is olive oil, right? So this has a smoke point of about that. So we want to be careful. All right, so you can see we're starting to get some browning. All right, I can also look at my pan. It looks pretty dry. So I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. We're starting to get some good browning, right? That's flavor right there. Again. All right, I'm gonna season with salt, which helps brown. Also helps season. And then some ground black pepper. All right, so the motion as I'm doing here is I'm using that lip of the pan to Send the food in, and then I'm just going to kind of go like this with my wrist. And that's going to keep it moving. Right, keep it moving. It also creates convection within the vegetables themselves. All right, so then I have some garlic here. All right, again, just like you've seen in the last videos, or some of my last videos, I don't want to put that garlic into the very end. Garlic has a high oil content, and if we put it in too early, the garlic will burn before the veggies are done. So, and we only need to cook that garlic for like 15, 30 seconds. Now, if you want it to deglaze a little bit, you could use some like non-alcoholic cooking wine. You could use a little bit of veggie stock if you wanted to kind of give it a little bit more flavor. Um, and then, 
Now we're going to add our garlic. Once I add the garlic, I'm pretty much just going to turn this off. I like to keep these veggies al dente, right? depending on how you like your veggies cooked. You might want to cook them a little longer if you want a little softer. I like them to still have a slight bite when they're done. All right, so we're going to take that off the heat for a second, and we're going to take a look at our steak. So take a look at the steak. All right, there's a couple things we could do. All right, we could use a thermometer, but what I want you to do is, all right, make an okay sign with your hand. All right, when you do that and you flip it over, all right, with your index finger, push here. That's going to be rare. Go to your middle finger, right? Feel that. The kind of kind of push back on your uh, the ball of your hand here. What's this called? Palm. Palm, the palm of your hand. <laughs> All right, then we go to our ring finger, right? It gets tighter as I go down my fingers. This is me and well, and this pinky is what they call BBR, right? Which is burnt beyond recognition, mm -hmm. right? Nobody should be eating a filet that way. Mm -hmm. So I could do that by just kind of touching here and seeing what kind of give back, and then just starting to get a feel here. So I think we're pretty close to a rare. What I'm gonna do is flip these guys over, and then, I'm just gonna take some foil and let them cool. Because I think, yeah, see they're a little bit more, a little bit more on the medium rare side. So I'm gonna let this cool now. I'm gonna put this to the side, cover it with aluminum foil. And then what we'll do is, once they get everything together, all right, after it's cooled a, bit, a minute, we'll kind of plate it up and show you what it looks like. All right, bye.